Uh, all right, Sean, they just announced the new Honda Civic SI. I don't know if you know this, but me and my fiance have a Honda Civic oh. SI, so it's oh, kind yeah, of a big I deal. I drove it, I kind of liked it. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. so let's hop into this 2022, and it looks, I haven't seen much, but it looks very different from the 10th gen. Does it? So we got a video from Honda here, and let's take a peek. Honda. Honda, 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 all right, orange. So there's a bunch of details on the screen. I think we're gonna stop and go back and look at some of that. I seen 200 horsepower. Oh, which, that's a little rip around me there, isn't it? I yeah. think uh, yours has 205. Yeah, that looks like five horsepower less, which is kind of interesting. Usually as you move up, you continue to make horsepower gains, unless you're Subaru, yeah, yeah, you then should. you just kind of go up and down, Especially up and down. Especially if you charge more money for the car, but. <laughs> okay, but looking at it, I don't, the rear, I don't think is bad. I, I like, they went away from the HDMI port exhaust and just went to dual tips. I don't know. I feel like it's really accordy. It's very accordion. It looks big. It is bigger. They said it's bigger. They, uh, they're they pretty happy that it's bigger. They're like, this is our biggest Civic ever. In my opinion, it doesn't look more sporty. That's for sure. They definitely got rid of the sharp edges of the 10th generation, yeah. really smoothed this one out a lot. So I'm seeing max power, 200 horsepower. Max torque, 192 which is the same. Pounds of torque. Uh, transmission, okay. Cool to see that they're keeping it manual. I think it's manual. I'm pretty, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's manual only for that. Okay, design, that's cool. I appreciate cool. that. Okay, now some of the interior here. What is that? Is that carbon? Rev match control. Dang. Okay. Yes, rev match Front, control, sport, yes. bucket seats. Whoa. Ball speaker, both of them. Seat. Why, it looks like they put a front grill in the car. It looks pretty modern though. When I think Civic, I, I always think stripped down. It's got yeah. carbon fiber, it's got a shiny shift knob, an electric parking brake, it's got a screen. You're really churching this thing up. It I doesn't mean, look that drastically changed from the 10th gen, to be honest with you, except for this yeah. huge grill that just goes for the entirety gen. of the car. Civic um, in general, that seems like kind of not like a bad place they, to be. They took the touch screen that was in the dash and then just made it pop out of the yeah. dash. Kind of like Classy. Supra, honestly, like my so car. Luxurious. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the infotainment system on the 10th gen Civic. It's buggy, it's kind of clunky. Mm. Um, my specific year 10th gen Civic SI does not have a volume control knob, which was a sin in itself. I was just gonna bring that up. It looks like but they have the physical this one, buttons here. Same and, with the climate control yeah, as well. Yeah, which is good. Uh, That's a good move. Touchscreens. When you add a touchscreen to a car, doesn't mean you have to put everything on Please. the car on the touchscreen. I just need volume it Makes knob. it a nightmare. And HVAC controls on the, okay. Yeah, make physical buttons are okay. They're okay. And they're more timeless, in my opinion. Now, again, the it's, rear end, I don't think looks bad. That's spoiler. That's yeah, impressive. I got a little spoiler. It's There's like, obviously gonna be a ton of aftermarket support for this. I just, I'm not a huge fan of this stubby nose, flat yeah. faced, rounded off. The proportions are kind of <sighs> weird. It almost looks like, the roof line's really tall, right? It's trying to inflate itself to be bigger than it is to say they're bigger, but I don't know if bigger is better, but they think it is. I don't know. I, I'm not I'm not in love with it. I th That's the thing for me too, is I, I just, I want to like it, but Cause I, I started know. to like the tent trends, especially yeah. after I drove yours, but this just isn't doing it for I, me. I really yet. like the sharp, aggressive lines of the tent gen. This is a lot more modest, but knowing that there's gonna be a ton of aftermarket support, it's huge. Now, how do you think this will pair up against like the new Integra? I don't think it will. It's 200 horsepower. I guess we don't know what the Integra is. We don't know what the Integra power. is. I would imagine. I it's did see have four more. door pictures though of the Integra. Yes. I haven't seen two door coupe pictures. I'm assuming there will be a two door coupe for the SI as well, don't you think? For the Civic SI? Yeah. I think they said sedan only. Oh, they really? Are not, they were cutting. Oh. The coupe. Yeah. That's why I thought the Integra was going to be a coupe because mm. I'm like, oh, perfect. But Interesting. I, I'm, I'm confused. It doesn't look bad. It's not a bad looking car. It just it I, doesn't. The front feel end. Civic S item. Maybe the front end will grow on me, but it like I don't know. The top of the hood just like sharp cuts down, and then it's like flat on it's the front. It's got like a weird forehead that sticks out before the grill too, which is... yeah. I, and that's what's throwing it off. I don't mind how it looks from the rear, but I am sad to hear that it's five horsepower less. Like, I don't know why Honda didn't take the opportunity to put a little bit more power in this one. I would imagine some sort of emissions, but yeah, it's like, weird. In my opinion, the SI should be competing with like the ST, the GTIs, things like that. Well, I guess the ST is done in the States. Yeah. So not as much competition, but even GTIs, GTIs are kind of pooping expensive. all over this. The GTI is expensive. That's true, but I'm willing to pay a little bit more to get yeah, a little bit more for power. 40, but, 50 more horsepower. 
arguably I guess, better interior. But that, I mean, that's what the Type R is for, right? But I mean, that's yeah, 40. Yeah, I guess it depends where they price this thing. Honestly, I think right now Civic Si starts at like 26. If they can keep this under that 28, I think people are gonna buy it anyway, regardless of the power, just cause it's an enthusiast daily driver that's manual only. I feel like like Honda's playing the Nintendo game. Hear me out. hundred thousand percent. There's PlayStation, Xbox, like trying to put the craziest nuts hardware into its system with the best possible graphics, squeezing every inch of life out of it. And then Nintendo's on the side like, well, we have good games and uh, we're gonna give it to you in 1080p and we don't really care. And I feel like that's what Honda's doing. And people eat that shit. People oh, love yeah. Civics. They know they're reliable. It's a timeless car that will get bought regardless of what horsepower it makes. And I think Honda knows that and they don't need to redesign the entire engine to sell more units. They make a Nintendo and they take away the USB port. Yep. <laughs> All right, so what do you think? Cop or drop? Would, would you buy one of these? Would you consider it? Mm, I would consider maybe a really aggressive lease. Otherwise, probably not picking up something like this until it's cheap AF. Well, I played you because I'm not gonna answer that. I'm gonna wait until I see some like aftermarket renderings and things like that. Cause that's when you really can tell. This is a really blank slate of a car. It's really smoothed out. Not a ton of defining lines on there. I think with some aftermarket support, it has a chance to be a pretty decent car. So, I don't know. I guess, what is this car really competing against? I think themselves, they got a really good market. I think that's why you're kind of seeing them do the WRX thing. We're like, oh, less horsepower, <laughs> slightly better car overall, same money, maybe a little bit more and people are buying it anyway. Oh man. So what do you guys think is happening with these new four bangers? Are you about them? Are you not feeling them? Let us know down in the comments below. I'm gonna read every single one. I mean, I wanna hear your guys' opinions. And it'll be cool to see what other options are available with the car. SEMA. I'm excited to see what SEMA's got for Ooh. these things. If they get any, maybe they can make them cool. Change my mind. Alrighty. Don't forget wheels, tires, suspension at fitministries.com. We should get one of these and just mod the hell out of it. Yeah. All right. I'm and down. a new Nissan Z. Let's see if it'll do some And a new Integra. Burnouts. Yeah, let's just get the trifecta. Let's just get all of the new cars. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? I wish I could do that.